So somehow EA released FIFA 23 a month early. I'm not even kidding. People have been able to get on FIFA 23 today on the actual game, on actual Ultimate Team. And thankfully for that, we have a bunch of leaked things to show you guys with FIFA 23. What I thought I'd do is show you guys the top 40 or the first four pages, essentially, of the highest rated players in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. Now, with ratings, because we're a month away from the game, some things can change, but this is pretty much nailed on. Like, EA typically don't change ratings. I'm trying to cover my own behind right now and say that it could change. I don't think it does. I've never seen EA change ratings within a month, but you never know. You know, I'm just going to cover my own behind and say you never know. But these are on the FIFA 23 official game. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. The first one is Robertson. He's the 40th highest rated player in FIFA 23. He hasn't changed in terms of overall rating. He's had a minus four in pace. Um, and that is pretty much it with his card. Uh, and he's had a minus one in passing. Um, you'll see there's an ongoing theme of people getting pace downgrades this year. It's, I'm unsure why, but yeah, some very uh, undeserving suspects have had some pace downgrades in my opinion. At number 39 now, we have Kalidou Koulibaly, who's gone to Chelsea. He's had a plus one one from his 86 rated card in FIFA 22 and he's also had a plus one pace uh, a plus one defending same physical a, pl a plus three in dribbling a plus five in shooting which you've got to think that's got to be that volley it has to be that volley that's given him a plus five in shooting um overall looks like a great Premier League center back card now we've got my boy Frankie De Jong in the 37th spot I've already forgot uh 38th spot I think with Frankie De Jong I was really hoping that'd be a my United badge on his card this summer uh what a saga he's had this year with transfers I can't believe he hasn't moved clubs and I've got a feeling this time next year it might be a lot lower of a rated card if he's just sitting on Barca's bench all year, refusing to take a pay cut. But Frankie De Jong is relatively unchanged. He's had a minus one in dribbling, a minus one in, uh, sorry, a plus one in pace. Um, same defending, same physical, plus one in passing, same shooting. Hugo Lloris is pretty much unchanged. Um, he's actually had a minus two in reflexes and a plus, what is that, plus nine in kicking. I'm unsure why he's had a plus nine in kicking. I don't know. Spurs fans, let me know in the comments down below why. Um, but he's had a plus nine in kicking. His rating stays the same. First of the huge upgrades uh, is Mike Mignon going from 84 to 87. I think that's deserved, to be fair. Milan were very good in the City A last year. And he was a great goalkeeper. Kept a lot of clean sheets and was really good in between the sticks for Milan. A plus three for Mike Mignon. Probably going to be people's go-to goalkeeper as well. Being French, get some great links. He's had a couple of big upgrades as well. Plus three in reflexes, plus two in diving. Um, same kicking, plus one in positioning, plus one in speed, and a plus two. Uh, sorry, plus one in handling. Rudiger with a huge upgrade as well. A plus four. I guess that's what you get for going from Chelsea to the Champions League winners. Um, I thought he was good last year. Plus four is kind of mad. But fair enough. 87 rated Rudiger. Huge pace upgrade to 82 pace. Plus three in dribbling. Uh, plus two in defending. Plus one in physical. Plus three in passing. And a plus 10 in shooting. That long shot versus Brentford is definitely why he got a massive shooting boost. But Rudiger is now 87 rated and looks absolutely ridiculous. He is going into most people's teams. Marco Verratti is relatively unchanged. A minus four in pace for the lad. And that's pretty much it. Minus one in uh, physical as well. Um, but yeah, I'm unsure why he got a, a big pace. Now, I think minus four is a big pace downgrade i'm not sure why he got a big pace downgrade but maybe it's just ea aging the you know, age tax which completely contradicts thomas muller who's had a plus two in pace for some reason um again he stays the same pretty much unchanged card bar a plus two in pace for thomas muller um still a cam uh yeah 87 rated good fodder i was surprised that goretzka kept his 87 rated to be fair given the fact that he had a huge injury uh I wouldn't say crisis, but he was just injured a lot last year. Uh, minus three in pace, and then almost everything unchanged. A minus one in dribbling, same defending, same physicals, the same passing, the same shooting. Um, so yeah, very, very minimal downgrades, I feel like, for Goretzka, considering I thought he'd be like 86 or 85. Plus one for Rodri at Man City, but again, a minus three pace downgrade. Unsure as to why, but a plus one in dribbling, uh, defending, plus two in physical, plus one in passing, and plus two in shooting. I think it's a fair upgrade. I thought he'd be 88, to be honest. I thought he was absolutely unreal last year. Big, big downgrade for Mark. Andre to Stegen, a minus two, which I think is probably quite fair considering Barca did underperform last year, I feel like. Um, he has had a big downgrade now. He's 88 rated. No longer with the highest rate of the goalkeepers. Um, he's had a minus two in diving. The same reflexes. A plus four in speed. Um, a plus, uh, sorry, a minus three in positioning. A uh, minus one in kicking and the same handling. So Mark Andre to Stegen is now 88 rated. Um, he still looks like a good goalkeeper to be fair. He still looks decent and I think that he'll still be used by a lot of people. Next up is cheeky little Kalon Navas. Now, I've put him as a Napoli card. It's not a done deal, but pretty much a done deal. Like, they're, they're, their talks are really advanced, apparently, um, according to some top-tier journalists. So I thought I'd put him as a Napoli card anyway, because I do feel like he'll end up at Napoli. Um, I think he'll replace Ospina. Um, 88 rate goalkeeper. And I think, like, you know, the City I've got some decent goalkeepers now. Um, I feel like for a long time, most 
most people were just using Handanovic in the Serie A, or maybe Handanovic or Chesney. Um, but now with 87 rated Mignon, 88 rated uh, Navas, I think we've got some big goalkeepers there as well to compete. And at the very worst, some good fodder. Now, I'm biased. I, I, I am biased, I admit that. I actually don't understand what Ruben Diaz did to deserve an upgrade this year. Um, I didn't think he did much in the Premier League, to be honest. Uh, I know they, that they won the Premier League and whatever, but I just didn't think that he did much to deserve an upgrade. Fair enough if I'm completely bang out of order there. Um, but yeah, I just didn't think he deserved um, to get an upgrade, in my personal opinion. But that is that. Um, he has got a plus one and he's got a plus two in pace. And that's pretty much it for his card. But not a silver with a plus two now uh, to 88 rated. He actually got a bit of a downgrade on pace, but everything else looks like he's got a nice little upgrade. I think it'd be a really decent uh, card. I think what other people are going to forget as well, a lot of these cards obviously will have secondary positions too. So that'll be a big thing, I think, with secondary positions. Um, a lot of these cards will be able to play in different positions. Um, which will make them usable in other areas. Next up is Erling Abhard Holland, who has stayed the same, 88. I actually thought he'd get an upgrade, to be honest. I know he didn't really deserve one, but joining a big team like Man City, I thought he would get an upgrade. His card has been relatively unchanged. The only thing that's different is a plus four in defending and a minus one in physical. I'm not entirely sure why EA gave him a minus one physical and plus four defending, but that is pretty much the only changes to Erling Brot Haaland's card. Um, everything else is the same. Gianluigi Donnarumma now has had a minus one and again, relatively unchanged card, very minimal downgrade. I thought it was deserved to get a minus one. I thought he might have got a minus two, to be honest. I thought he got a big upgrade, pretty undeserved. Am I still salty about the Oris final? Absolutely. Um, no, Gianluigi Donnarumma is a good goalkeeper. I think he'll be a future uh, well-beaten goalkeeper. 88 might be a bit a bit high for him, but yeah, fair enough. Marquinhos with a plus one. He's actually had a minus two pace downgrade. Again, no idea why. Um, and then minimal upgrade. He actually had a minus one in physical as well, but the same defending, plus three in shooting, passing stayed the same. Not entirely sure how he got a plus one, considering most of his card stats have gone down, but... Uh, I'm guessing the in-games have pushed his rating up. Um, I thought he had a good season, to be fair, so I could see why he got an upgrade. Um, and he he'll, again, be very good at the start of FIFA. The man himself that actually defies the age tax, it is uh, Luka Modric, who has had a plus one despite having no upgrades on his card at all. His card is exactly the same, but he's, he's 88 rated now. So, I mean, that's fair enough. There you go. I don't know. I've got nothing else really to say about Luka Modric, apart from the fact that he's now 88. And here is his partner in fodder, Tony Cruz, who is also 88 again. I don't think anything's changed on his card, has it? Literally, uh, minus one in passing. That That's literally it. Minus one in passing for Tony Cruz. He's still great fodder. Here we have another big upgrade for Man City. Is 86 to 88. Joao Cancelo, who's now a left back as his main position. Obviously, he will be a right back as his secondary position as well. So he can play in both positions. Um, again, for a plus two, the upgrade doesn't seem mad. You know, he's had a plus two in shooting, a plus two in passing, plus one in physical, plus one in defending, a plus one in dribbling, and his pace has stayed exactly the same. So the card will be one of the better left backs to start the Premier League season off with FIFA 22. Oh, sorry, FIFA 23. Um, again, he'll probably be one of the best right backs as well. I imagine four star, four star again. Would be a decent card, to be fair. Allison stayed at 89 rated. I thought that was pretty fair. Um, he's had a minus one in handling. Uh, he's had a plus two in speed, and he's had a plus one in kicking. So, a few minor upgrades there and a minor downgrade. I'm not entirely sure what, why EA changed things so minimally, but, I mean, they've got a reason to, and there you go. That's Alisson. They've done my boy dirty. I actually can't believe Neymar's had a minus two. I didn't think Neymar was bad at all last year. I don't know what he did to deserve a minus two, um, but Neymar is now 89 rated, which is absolutely crazy to me, especially considering he started this season on fire, which is why I covered my own back earlier and said, you know, EA might change the ratings a little bit. I think with the start that Neymar Neymar's out of the season, they might give him a 90 rated card. It's very possible they give him a little upgrade before the game comes out. Um, 89 rated card for Neymar though, 5 star, 5 star still. I mean, the card still looks like it'll be insane. A little bit of a pace downgrade is kind of annoying. Uh, 87 pace is nowhere near as fast as 91. That's kind of annoying. But apart from that, he'll still be very good with the ball at his feet. Uh, he'll still be very OP in game. I think that he'll still be uh, very usable. Just very surprising that he gave him such a big downgrade. Like, minus two is huge at that level, in my opinion. But we're starting to see a trend, because Oblak also got a minus two. I feel like that's probably deserved. 91 was very, very high. I didn't think he was the best goalkeeper in the world. Um, and, he, and he had the highest rated goalkeeper card in the world. So I'm not entirely sure I'd agree with it. Um, I think 89 is probably quite fair for Oblak. That's, you know, that's fair enough. Um, and he's still good fodder, just not quite the 91 rated fodder that we had before. Next up is Harry Kane getting a minus one to an 89 rated card and a minus two in pace. Um, there's still a lot of cards to go, by the way. I think there's still like 16 cards or 15 cards left. Um, so we've got some high rated cards to come still. But yeah, Harry Kane, 89 rated. I don't actually know why he got a downgrade. Um, 
uh, Spurs got top four. I thought they had a decent season to get top four. I thought Harry Kane had a decent season. Um, not quite the Hyungmin Son level season, but I thought he was still pretty decent. I'm, I'm surprised he got a minus one. Next up is Joshua Kimmich, who is actually my favourite player outside of my United, to be fair. Uh, I, I really like Joshua Kimmich. I think he's an absolute world-class player. Um, he stayed the same. He's at a minus two in pace. Unsure as to why. He's definitely not slower now than he was. Um, he's on a minus one in shooting and a plus one in passing. Still 89 rated, still half decent card. You're going to have to put a shadow on him to, to be usable, in my opinion. But apart from that, solid card. Next up is Sadio Mane, who uh, stayed the same. For some reason, he's gone from a left wing now to a left mid. Where, I mean, I feel like he'll probably be a striker by the time the, card, the game comes out. I have just realized, by the way, they are the same card. I don't know why they're not. it's not the FIFA 20 version of the card. I do apologize about that. Um, but yeah, so the, the, the one on the right is his new card. It is a Bayern Munich card. He's at a minus one in pace, minus one in dribbling. Uh, same shooting, same passing, same physical, same defending. Um, he started the season quite well for Bayern Munich. I'm surprised he's got a left mid card. I feel like he'll be a striker when the game comes out, or at least a secondary position will be striker, because that's pretty much where he's playing now for Bayern. Hyungmin Son now, uh, he has stayed 89 rated. I thought he'd get an upgrade, to be fair, but he stayed the same. Um, same pace, same dribbling, plus two in shooting, same passing, same physical, and a minus one in defending, but he's also a left wing card now as well. I don't know his secondary positions. He might be able to play striker in game. I'm not entirely sure, um, but yeah, he's now a left wing card, more offensive, um, as he recognized that he is a more offensive player i feel like left mids now left mids and right mids are now i feel like wing back positions like the way football is you don't have like a traditional left or right mid um you know i feel like left wing right wing now is more forwards as opposed to like wide like a ryan Giggs left winger kind of thing um so yeah i just feel like the left mid and the right mid is a really deep player that i don't think um is really a position like that anymore so yeah a left wing is definitely deserved this one makes me sad a minus one for ngolo kante um minus six in pace and then pretty much unchanged by a minus one in physical or minus one in passing. Um, yeah, I feel like as, oh, he's got minus one dribbling as well. I feel like it's a little bit, a little bit harsh on N'Golo. Uh, he's just too cute to give a downgrade to. You know what I mean? It's just a bit unfair. We have my boy Casemiro. He stayed 89 rated. All right, we've got we've got a high rated card there guaranteed. I'm happy about that. 89 rated Casemiro. Um, he's a little bit of a pace downgrade, which is kind of annoying. I will be putting a shadow on this card and using him in my team straight away. Absolutely. What a beast. Go on, Casemiro. Edison has got the an identical card. He hasn't changed at all. No uh, rating change. No no stats change. He probably has a couple in game that have changed. But apart from that, pretty much everything is identical. Courtois is now a 90 rated card. I think it's probably a fair upgrade considering how good he was last season and how good he was in the Champions League final. I thought he'd be 91 to be fair. I thought him and Oblak had basically changed places. Um, I thought Courtois deserved a really high rated card after his uh, last season and in the Champions League league not entirely sure about this one so Virgil van Dijk's got a plus one with a plus three in pace I, I mean look I'm a biased my United fan I feel like this one is more of a correction from last year um, I feel like last year EA did the Liverpool squad a bit dirty and gave them some downgrades that weren't necessarily uh, deserved and I think this year they're kind of rectifying that by giving them upgrades again because I don't think that van Dijk's had a season that is worthy of an upgrade but I mean, he's got a night rate card now. I feel like he's still probably one of the best centre-backs in the world, if not the best centre-back in the world right now. Um, so yeah, night rate card is probably fair. I just didn't think that this season of all season he deserved an upgrade. Manuel has kept his night rate card probably pretty fair. Um, still a very good goalkeeper, even at his, his old age, which is what, like 37, 38 now, I think. It might even just be 36. Um, but yeah, Manuel's kept his night rate card, which I think is totally fair enough. Mo Salah plus one to 90 rated again he's back in the 90 rated club i think he was there a couple of a couple of fifas ago right um i think that's fair i think 90 rated for most is fair i had him at 90 rated last year and then he got a downgrade i was unsure as to why um so yeah i think 90 rated for most Salah is is definitely a fair rating for him joining him at 90 rated is cristiano ronaldo who's had a minus six pace downgrade a minus three dribbling downgrade he's got the same physical a minus four passing and a minus one shooting I thought that Ronaldo would get a downgrade. And I also don't think Ronaldo will have a Man United card. I feel like he's going to get a, a last-minute move. Uh, we shall see. But Ronaldo is 90 rated on the new FIFA. Um, that card is definitely nowhere near as appealing to use at the start of the game. I don't think we'll be seeing anywhere near as many people using Ronaldo at the start of the year. Robert Lewandowski has also got a downgrade. It feels like they've done a blanket downgrade. I, I think like, the highest rated card this year is 91. They've got a big downgrade. Sorry for the spoiler alert. But yeah, they've done big downgrades across the across the board this year. EA have. Um, He's in a downgrade in pace. Pretty much almost everything else has stayed the same. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's never really been a super usable card, I feel like, anyway. EA are on some smoke with the PSG players because Lionel Messi's at a minus two. Now, I know Messi had a season last season where I think he only scored about three or four goals, right? That's fair enough. But I think he also got 16 assists. And, and Lionel Messi, you can see in that PSG team, isn't playing badly 
I feel like he's genuine. And I'm talking, I'm a massive Ronaldo fanboy, right? And this is me talking here. I feel like Messi has been very unlucky. He's hit the post a lot. He's hit the bar a lot. He's been very unlucky with a lot of his chances. And I feel like he's one of those players where this season, I think he's going to do very well. I really do. Um, but a minus two for Messi. He is also playable at centre forward as well. Um, minus four in pace. Minus one in dribbling. Minus three shooting. Minus one passing. Minus one physical. The same defending. Jeez, EA on smoke, man. Minus two for Neymar and a minus two for Messi. KDB retaining his 91 rated card with a minus two in pace, a minus one in dribbling, a plus two in shooting, though, um, a minus one in physical and the same passing. 91, I think, is fair. Kevin De Bruyne is one of the best players in the world. I think that's totally fair. Big, big, big upgrade for Kareem the Dream Benzema to 91 rated, which I think is totally fair. He's a plus four in pace. He's a plus two in shooting, plus two in passing, uh, plus one in physical, and the same dribbling and the same defending. I think that's totally fair. Kareem the Dream has had a fantastic season. Probably one of the best players in the world. Probably going to win the Ballon d'Or. I think a 91 rated is absolutely fair. And now for your highest rated card in FIFA 23. It is Kylian Mbappe. He's the highest rated card of FIFA 23. That's mental to me. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, he's the highest rated card of FIFA 23. Um, he's pretty much kept all the same stats by a plus one in shooting and a minus one in physical. Um, him and Messi are both 91 rated from PSG. That's mental to me. I mean, fair enough though. Fair enough. I mean, the kid's so young and he's the highest rated card in FIFA. That is wild. But they are our FIFA 23 top 40 ratings. Thank you all for watching the video. Let me know in the comments down below who you want to see next. And I'll see you lads later.